Hi friends, welcome back to API tutorial where the Laravel 8 we have already discussed about different types of API and different types of request method that is get, post, put, patch, delete okay and some related things so if you don't see this video you can see from our API playlist so today we will discuss about how to validate API suppose we are sending request from the postman and if we have not passed the valid request parameter it will say the invalid request or something any message whatever you want to add okay so how we can do this so for api purpose we will use api.php that is api routes and we have block controller and we also have block model we already created in our previous video and in environment we have set up a database that is laravel api tutorial okay so if you go to the database we can see the laravel api tutorial and there is a table that is blocks table so here the title and details is the column name so i will insert some data into the block table with the valid request okay so how we can do this so very simple in the controller we need to use the laravel validator class so use validator okay and just call the validator from the methods okay suppose to save any data we are creating a function public function suppose my function name validate data and we are getting request from the postman so just use this request and dollar request okay so we need to call this from the api.php that is the routes so go to the routes and create one route suppose here we'll send request from the post method so we will use the post here and our url will be save valid blog okay so just for example i am taking this kind of url and after that we need to call the controller that is block controller colon colon class and after that we need to write the methods name so basically the methods name is validate data okay so spelling mistake so validate data so here we'll write the same validate data okay and after that the semicolon okay so now we need to create a url that is say valid block okay so just go to the postman and create a post type request and we'll create the url that is 127 dot zero dot zero dot one colon eight zero 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 and api so basically this is the api base url we are using api routes that's the reason we need to use this api so here is my url so if you click on the send button basically it will call the api.php and through the api.php it will call the validate data function okay so we have already used the validator class now we need to set the rules okay so for validation we will set rule and we can set multiple rules so just create array and here if you go to the database we can see there is a title and details okay i want to make validate these both two things so title should be required and details also should be required so very simple so just go to the block controller and use title so basically title will be the required re q u i required and in the same way the details also be required so add details also and now we need to call the validator so i am taking a variable that is validator and we'll call the validator class so validator okay and to validate we need to use the make function 
and here we need to pass all the request so basically this is the request we're taking from the postman and we'll call the request all okay and the next parameter we need to pass the rules whatever we just said okay so basically this is the rules okay and now we will add the condition if validator fails that means we have not provide the proper input variable so we need to return a error okay so just to return validator errors okay otherwise it is okay okay make a statement that is return and here it will respond as a json format so just write the json array that is result and colon and arrow valid request okay so here if you go to the postman we need to pass the data so go to the body and click on the row and i'm passing the json formatted data so here we will write json array okay so basically we will pass the title so suppose the title is blog test and i will pass the details also so in the details we will write that is blog details okay so if we click on the send we can see the result okay so there is a mistake so here we need to write single dollar okay so now click the send again so basically it is saying that is valid request okay so if we not pass any value for the title or not pass any value for details so what happens so so now if we click on this we can see the validation error that is if we go to the, this section so we can see the title the title field is equal and also the details field is equal okay so now i want to make the validate with another criteria suppose i am passing the value that is block title and here write the blog details but suppose here i am writing the only four character okay and i'm adding the condition that is the block should be minimum of six so then it will also validate okay so just click on the send and if we can see the title must be at least six character okay so basically this is the four character so now if we write some extra things that is block test we can see the result that is valid request so in the same way we can add the maximum also so just click on maximum and suppose the maximum is 10 so if we exit this request character that is block test again suppose i am adding some normal string so basically this is the exit the 10 character limit so if you click on the send we will again can see the title may not be greater than 10 character okay so we can understand how to validate so now i want to save this data into the database okay so just use the valid data so i am rewriting this so now the valid request so we are in this section so now if all the request is valid we need to save the data into the database so how we can save this so very simple we have the blog model so using the blog model we'll call this and we'll save this okay so here just remove this section for now and create a variable that is blog and call the blog model that is blog okay and using this variable we will save okay so write blog title and we'll get the title from the request title okay so basically this title is same as this title and we'll call the details so write these things 
so blog details equal to request details okay and now we need to save this so to save we need to write the blog save okay so if we execute these things it will save the block okay and now i want to add the another condition so i am taking this save into the result okay so i will check if the result is true that means if the save function is successfully done it will respond some statement or if not done it will also return some statement so we'll add the condition so if result is true then it will return just result and write here the condition so blog edit okay and if the save function is not true means if the result is not true it will response the blog not edit okay so very simple so just click on this section it will save the data okay so blog edit and if you go to the database and refresh this we can see the blog test and blog details that is just added okay so this is all about api validation with laravel 8 so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section next day we will going to show you how to upload image through the api so it's very interesting don't miss this video please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye